Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a craft of this beautiful holographic vinyl, and we are going to make a DIY personalized name water bottle. So come along and let's get started. So first thing is you're going to decide the size you need for your sticker. So for me, for this, I'm gonna do a two by six size sticker. So I know that I'll only need two inches by six inches. Um, but I'm going to cut out one more just so I can use the time um, because I'm going to stick it on something else. So I know that I need a 5 by 12 slice of holographic vinyl. So once you decide where you're cutting, you go ahead and cut it out. Cut it to the size you need. And another side tip is to keep track of what your, all your various rolls are. I always take the um, paper that comes on the outside because of what it is and everything. I always take it, I roll it up, and then I stick it inside. So that if there's ever a question whether this is vinyl, whether it's an iron-on, um, it's just nice to have that. Especially when you start to have a big, huge um, stock like I have. But even if you can't, or you've already thrown away your insert, It'll often say something. This one just says cricket, but there are ones. Um, I have some other ones that say removable vinyl on the inside. So if you have already gotten rid of your paper and you're not sure exactly what material you've got, um, check the inside. To see this. But if you're getting new rolls, that would be my suggestion: is you stick it inside so that you can always have that on hand. So you forget to apply it. What materials it can be used with? What the settings are for your machine? If you don't have a ticket maker, it has all the tips on there for um, the Explorer Air 2 and all the other machines on what settings to do. So that would be my tip that so let's get started. So you are going to lay this flat on your mat, right where it lines up with the edges. Make sure to do your best to get it right along that edge so that the computer has an accurate read of where your materials are so it cuts correctly and then simply press down. You're going to make sure that your mat has a clean seal. Very, very good seal so that your holographic vinyl does not roll around. I mean, oh my goodness, look how beautiful that is. I love it, I can't wait to see this one. So now that you've got it loaded on your mat, now it's time to jump on over to Perfect Design Space and get your, whatever design you're going to do on your mat. So for us, I'm going to do my mom's name because I'm going to make this as a gift for my mom for her birthday. Um, but you could do whatever you would like. So, so now that you've got your Cricut Design Space up, they're going to head over here to text, um, depending on what you're going to do. If you want a name, like I'm doing Pona Peace Art, which is the name of my mom's YouTube channel but you can do whatever you'd like, or if you want shapes, or if you want to upload something, you can do any of those things. Once you have that ready to go, and you've got it all customized, um, I selected Bebet. And there's so font. many different things that you can do within your font to make it personalized to the way you like it. So like right now, I'm shrinking the letter spacing to see if I like it like that, which I think I do where it looks like it is cursive and it is all together. Um, and so that also gets it to where I want it because I needed it to be six inches. Um, and so six inches by two was kind of what I was heading for. This is only by one. So I'm not sure if I will get that. I might have to do two, two lines of, of stuff to get what I want um, on my bottle, which I'll show you in a minute. But Basically, you can make it bigger, smaller, adjust it however you'd like, make it closer together, further apart, all kinds of things that you can do to make it very personalized and exactly what you wanted. So for me, I'm actually going to squeeze it together and see how horrible it looks or not. Yeah, no, that's bad. I don't like <laughs> But as you can see, you can really change the way something looks just by expanding it a little bit or contracting it a little bit. So for that, I like the way that looks. It, all, the, all of the little letters are touching, 
So it looks like a continuous flow of art here. And I really want it to be under six inches so it goes in one line up the bottle. So I think I'm just going to settle with one inch by six inches. Head over here, once you've got everything the way you want it and sized correctly, you select make it. Once you select make it, it's going to show up on your mat and you just ensure that it looks right, make sure that it's okay and fits inside the fabric or fits inside the vinyl you've laid on your mat. And then you're gonna click continue. Once you click continue, it's going to connect to your machine and then you are going to hit load. When you load your machine, make sure that you're pushing your mat up against the rollers so that it loads correctly. This is essential to proper cutting. Then you um, will select what type of cardstock or vinyl or whatever. We are gonna do vinyl, but I'm gonna actually make, see if there's one that's specific to holographic vinyl, because there might be. Yes, there is. Okay, we're gonna head over here and we're gonna look for premium vinyl holographic. That is what we're using. I always do more pressure because I wanna make sure that, it, there, that it's cut out perfectly. And then you are going to follow all of the instructions. You're going to press load mat. And then once you load your mat, you can choose fast mode or not. And then you're going to press go. Let's get started. You don't want it coming up when you cut. Then you're going to select load. And at this point, you can choose fast mode or not. I'm going to select fast mode. And then you are going to click go. And there you have it. Now we're going to cut out our personalized sticker. Now while that's happening, I'm going to go prep my water bottle by cleaning the surface and making sure there's no debris on it so it's ready for application at the end of this cutting session. All of the pieces we need. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to flip it over. I'm actually just going to peel all of this off. Peel off all these little extra bits that I don't need. Most of what's left is the parts that we'll be using. So I'm going to grab my weeder. And we are going to get to work. We are going to get to work weeding out the bits we don't need. Once we do that, we'll move on to the application. So for now, we're going to sit here and we're going to weed out these extra little pieces. So we're going to make sure our surface is clean, then we're going to add our tape. Then we're going to carefully peel back the backing. And then we're going to use this masking tape to position it just right where you want it. To make sure that it lines up exactly the way you want your design to look. Then you simply add pressure and then peel off your masking tape nice and easy being sure not to accidentally rip your vinyl. And you make sure that it fits on there nicely. If not, you can do like I did and cut it into multiple pieces so that it can fit nicely. And then once you're done, it's all beautiful. 